training for the Boston Marathon is no walk in the park. The iconic 26.2 miles from Hopkinton to Boston calls for months of conditioning through Vermont's snowy, icy, windy, and wet winter. Training for me began in mid-December following a training guide that calls for four runs and one cross-training day a week, running shorter mileage three days in a row and resting one day before completing a longer distance. The goal, to condition my body to run on as little recovery time as possible. Put it right at the ankles. But my road to the marathon hasn't exactly been smooth. Studies show about 70 to 80 percent of runners will have some level of injury in a year from repetitive stress. About 10 weeks into training, I became a part of that percentage. I developed bursitis in my left hip from a lack of stretching and overuse, which led me here to Vasta Physical Therapy in South Burlington. When we go too much, too fast, too soon, that's when we kind of run into our body reacting to the stresses versus adapting to it. Dr. Anand says preventing against running injuries begins with a dynamic warm-up. You're going to come down and drive up. When it comes to recovery, slow and steady wins the race. A rule of thumb that we kind of recommend is like a 10% increase in load per week. Strength training at least twice a week. Lots of recovery, active rest and recovery. And that's stress management. That's fueling your like, nutrition and uh, refueling your body. But above all, she says listening to your body is key. Your natural tendency is to, oh, I want to push through the pain. I want to go. And more often than not, that kind of results in long term, more chronic issues. And don't forget, you can watch the 127th Boston Marathon next Monday right here on NBC5. Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Very excited. Uh, Dr. Anand is actually my physical therapist, and she has helped me so much throughout my journey. She always says movement is medicine as long as you're doing it safely. Yes. yes. My mom is a physical therapist, yes. so all of that really resonated with yes. me. Now, I'm not anywhere close to the athlete that you are, but still, she was always there for a helpful stretch yes. whenever I was feeling They're sore. They're the unsung heroes. Absolutely. Yeah.